Kamal Bay. Uh, right before this match, you were awarded the uh, Greco Person of the Year for USA Wrestling. Uh, then you followed up making your first World Senior Team. How are you feeling? Feeling, feeling great. You know, uh, I feel like everything's come full circle from uh, last year being at the World Team Trials. And falling short to the same opponent I had to beat to make the team this year. Uh, I think it shows a lot of growth, a lot of maturity, and uh, just a lot of heart, you know, to bring you home. So, so last year he beat you two matches to none, was it? Two matches to none. So this year, but you if you take a look at that first match, they messed up on the scoreboard. I went back and I watched it. I, I won it. I won by four points on criteria. I'm not gonna tell anybody, but I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this year you win two matches to none. First match really, really tight. Second match you blew it wide open. Uh, what adjustments did you make just between those oh, two first matches? First match I knew me and Mason were gonna come out hard. You know, me and him are are real good friends. I don't know if you saw it out there, but. We were, we had a little a little chat while I was getting taped up. My face was getting better. He was like, he's like, yeah, come on, this is really fun. I was like, I know it was fun until I started looking like you with the <laughs> with the tape around the head back in high school. Uh, but yeah, I just I just knew he was gonna come out hard. I was gonna come out hard, and it was just about setting the tone early. Uh, he had the lead, but I just kept pushing, kept pushing, and uh, eventually uh, I got to a 5-3 win. And this uh, second one, uh, I just went after it, you know. I saw him coming at me a lot harder. He didn't keep he didn't keep his clothes as he used to. So uh, I was just piecing him up, you know, taking what he gave me. Um, so do you see that rivalry going on for a long time? Oh, uh, I see it going on for for as long as we both are able to compete. Uh, him pushing me, me pushing him. That's that's great because I can tell like I'm like the opposite of what he likes to wrestle, you know. So uh, and he's also the opposite of what I like to wrestle. So. Me and him together are pushing. It's only gonna make a uh, 77 kilo stronger. It's only gonna give us more people, you know, who can rep represent the United States on the world level. What's the biggest difference between juniors and, and senior level? Now that you're on this, you quickly made the transition. I mean, what's the biggest adjustment? Uh, I mean, you're facing 28 year old men, I guess. Or the only difference is uh, the uh, the experience they have. You know, the people who've been in that situation a hundred, a thousand a million times like they don't crack under pressure they know what to do when the guy is pushing them so uh i'll say right there that's the biggest difference between the uh, senior and junior level so herb house got greco coach of the year he's someone you work pretty closely with can you talk a little bit about him oh uh, yeah herb and coach pop is what i call him because he's not only a coach to me he's like a father he uh he pushes me every day even though he's a volunteer coach he drives 35 minutes every day just to coach me in the mornings goes back home to his family and comes back and uh, works for me, so uh, I'm 110% uh, indebted to him. Like, I'm just so grateful because, you know, it's hard to find somebody who really just wants the best for you, you know? And, you know, some people are gonna be around just for, like, the highs, but he was with me during the lows. Last year, the Royal T Trials, where I got my concussion, the Mason, uh, he, came, he came to my room and he checked on me. Like, he wasn't there every day, but he was there every other day just calling me and stuff, making sure I'm fine. Like even Father's Day, you know, I wish him a happy Father's Day because that's that's a dad to me, you know. That's a dad to me. Like he let me sleep on his couch if I needed to. Anything picks me up from the Denver airport, drops me all the way hour away in Colorado Springs. Like he's like the the standard for what a coach should be. So, what do your next four months look like? Uh, my next four months just a whole lot of training. But before then, I'm gonna go home for a little bit. I think I want to help Team Illinois uh, with the Fargo training. So I'm gonna try to get back in time for that. Uh, after uh, Pat Martinez and Rayvon are done wrestling, uh, we're going on a camping trip for two days. Nice. So I'm looking forward to that. But I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just so happy. Like finally got my, one of my goals, a world team member on the senior level and junior level. Uh, hopefully, I got to wrestle off. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. So, so ever think you'll uh, give grabbing legs another shot, or are you only Greco? I was talking about next year. Uh, I was gonna wrestle some freestyle tournaments too. Just because I'm young and you know, you might as well, uh, you know, do it while you're young, you know, you use it or lose it pretty much. So, uh, you probably might see me at the day shows next year wrestling freestyle, I don't know. All right, well, looking forward to it, congrats. Thank you.